All right, folks, gather round, because this one's a doozy. You won't believe what we've uncovered this time. You know how the Pentagon is usually all about fighter jets, drones, and high-tech weaponry? The kind of stuff that makes you feel like you're living in a sci-fi movie? Well, apparently they've added a new weapon to their arsenal, anti-vaccine propaganda. Yes, you heard that right, it's not just about missiles and tanks anymore. Our friends over at the Department of Defense seem to have missed the memo about, you know, public health being a good thing. Vaccines save lives, but it seems someone didn't get that message. Instead, they've been caught red-handed. Allegedly, of course, because what's a good scandal without plausible deniability? Spreading misinformation about vaccines in the Philippines. It's like a plot twist in a bad thriller. Now, I'm no military strategist but I'm pretty sure weaponizing unfounded fears about vaccines isn't covered in Sun Tzu's Art of War. It's not exactly a classic move in the playbook of warfare. Then again, maybe it's a cunning tactic to weaken the enemy's immune system. Who needs biological weapons when you can just spread a little misinformation, right? Honestly, with the world already teetering on the edge of, well, everything, you'd think the last thing we need is the American government actively trying to make people sicker. It's like adding fuel to a fire that's already out of control. The healthcare system is already stretched thin, and now we have to deal with this, it's almost too much to handle. But hey, that's 2024 for you. Just when you think things can't get any crazier, they do. Buckle up folks, it's going to be a wild ride. So what's the deal with this whole vaccine disinformation campaign? Well it seems the Pentagon in their infinite wisdom decided it would be a brilliant idea to fund and support groups spreading false information about vaccines in the Philippines. We're talking Facebook posts claiming vaccines cause autism, they don't. Whispers about sinister government conspiracies, the works. It's like someone dug up every debunked anti-vaccine myth from the depths of the internet and unleashed them on an unsuspecting population. And why, you ask, would they do such a thing? Good question. The prevailing theory is that it's all part of some elaborate plan to destabilize the region. Because nothing says geopolitical dominance like a good old-fashioned measles outbreak, am I right? Now, I know what you're thinking. John, this is serious stuff. Where's the humor in spreading dangerous lies about public health? And you're right, it's not exactly a laughing matter. But sometimes the only way to deal with the absurdity of it all is to laugh, or else you'll just end up crying in a corner, rocking back and forth while muttering about the end of civilization as we know it. I mean honestly, the whole situation is so ridiculous, it's almost comical. It's like something out of a bad spy movie where the villain's master plan involves replacing all the world's vaccines with, I don't know, kale smoothies? But here's the thing, even though it sounds like a joke, the consequences are anything but funny. Every day, people are bombarded with false information and it spreads like wildfire. It divides families, creates chaos, and undermines trust in essential institutions. Our healthcare workers are overwhelmed, trying to combat not just the virus but the misinformation pandemic as well. So while we might find some dark humor in the absurdity, let's not forget the real-world impact and the importance of staying informed. Because in the end, knowledge is our best defense against the chaos. Vaccines, as you hopefully already know, are one of the greatest public health achievements in human history. They've saved millions of lives and eradicated deadly diseases. Spreading misinformation about them is not just irresponsible, it's downright dangerous. It's like telling people that seatbelts are actually tiny government tracking devices designed to monitor your every move, or that brushing your teeth summons an ancient evil that will steal your soul. It's nonsense, pure and simple. And yet, thanks to the internet and the Pentagon's apparent love affair with disinformation, these kinds of lies spread faster than a Kardashian pregnancy announcement. Now, you might be wondering why the Philippines seems to be the target of this bizarre anti-vaccine crusade. Well, it's complicated. The Philippines has a long and fraught history with the United States, and there's a lot of mistrust on both sides. Plus, the country has been grappling with a dengue fever epidemic in recent years, and there's been some controversy surrounding a dengue vaccine that was introduced a few years back. So, basically, the Pentagon decided to exploit an already delicate situation by adding fuel to the fire of misinformation. It's like showing up to a house fire with a tanker truck full of gasoline and saying, don't worry, I'm here to help. This isn't just a Philippine problem though, oh no folks, this is a global issue. When a powerful country like the United States starts meddling with public health information, it sets a dangerous precedent. 
It erodes trust in science and institutions, and it makes it harder to combat real health threats. It's like giving a megaphone to every conspiracy theorist and quack doctor on the planet and saying, go forth and spread your misinformation far and wide. We're already dealing with a global pandemic, climate change, and enough political turmoil to make your head spin. The last thing we need is for one of the world's most powerful militaries to actively undermine public health efforts. So, where do we go from here? Honestly, I'm not sure. This whole situation is so messed up it's hard to know what to believe anymore. It's enough to make you want to become a hermit, move to a remote island and survive on coconuts and rainwater. But then again, knowing my luck, the Pentagon would probably find a way to airdrop anti-coconut propaganda leaflets all over my island paradise. Coconuts, delicious tropical treat or agents of the Illuminati, you decide. In all seriousness though, this situation highlights the importance of media literacy and critical thinking. We can't just blindly trust everything we read on the internet, especially when it comes to something as important as our health. Well there you have it folks, the world is in a state of chaos, and it seems like every day brings a new twist to the story. The Pentagon, not just content with waging wars on terror and foreign governments, they're now apparently waging war on vaccines too. It's a bizarre turn of events that leaves many of us scratching our heads. And they say satire is dead. But in times like these, satire might be the only way to make sense of the madness. But in all seriousness, this whole situation is incredibly concerning. The spread of misinformation is not just a minor issue, it's a crisis that affects us all. The weaponization of misinformation is a dangerous game, and it's one that we can't afford to lose. The stakes are too high and the consequences too severe. So, get your vaccines, folks. It's not just about protecting yourself, it's about safeguarding your community and loved ones. And if you see someone spreading anti-vaccine propaganda, do us all a favor and hit them with a rolled-up newspaper. Or better yet, engage them in a constructive conversation. Or, you know, politely correct them with factual information. Whatever works. The goal is to educate and inform, not to alienate. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and try not to succumb to the madness. It's a challenging time, but together, we can navigate through it. That's it for me, folks. Remember, knowledge is power. And staying informed is your best defense. I'm going to go build my bunker now. Stay safe out there.